Hello, audience. I am Cryoptic Voice, and welcome to a game, Coffee Talk. I... Ooh, my name. Cry. Um... Okay, so yeah, let's just do cry optic. Cry optic. I have no idea what this game is about, by the way. Yes. There's an endless mode. Actions. Let's check it out. Good dialogue. <clears throat> Welcome, Cryoptic. Is it endless mode? I didn't know that. I don't think we'll be playing that, but basically, I, I'm pretty sure this game is just you sit down with these pre made characters and just talk. So let's do that. Let's just relax and talk. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. Time when the great war between races is but a footnote in history. A time when anyone can dream of being whatever they want to be, and have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it is a place and a time where anything can happen. Cool. Oh! There's like fantasy characters and stuff? It's when the elves have left the forest to build their startups. That's what it meant. When the dwarves have emerged from their caves to start their automotive empires. When the orcs have put down their axes and started using computers to improve their lives. And when humans live among them, as driven as ever, it is a city that holds the many dreams and stories of its people. I think that's pretty much the sum of the game. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solace in the embrace of bricks and wood and glass. They are told over drinks that take up residence in some stranger's memories. Also, good soundtrack already? Let's go. In one quarter of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that is only open when the sun is sleeping. A place where people share their stories. And these are their stories. Coffee Talk. Tuesday, September 22nd. 2020. Cryoptic. Welcome. Oh, it's you. Am I supposed to know who this person is? Raya. Hey, Cryoptic. How's the night so far? It's calm, as usual. I've got a slight problem, though. Huh? What happened? My supplier made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Man, that's a bummer. Don't worry. I can still serve the caffeine you desperately need. That's good to hear. Anyway, let me set things up first. You're our first customer, after all. Don't worry, take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. So, I'm used to taking things slow. I'm a writer. Writer's block again? You got that right. What are you writing now? Remember my plan to... Rule the world! I don't get it. Did she say something? Oh, pardon the interruption. The machine is ready. You want your triple shot espresso now? Jesus! Yes, please. And if you forget how to make it, just check your phone, okay? 
Anyway, I really need that triple shot espresso. Check my phone. Oh god. Oh, X. Did check my phone. Brew pad. Oh, this is cool. Oh. <laughs> Ugh, there's lots of drinks. Do I? There we go. Oh. Hold up. Get back over. Oh, God. Hold on, I'm trying to switch on. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. I got it now. Blacker than a moonless night, hotter and more bitter than hell itself. Great. That does not tell me how to make it though what is this Freya storyteller her birthday is the 29th of January ready for the evening whispers talks about mundane things art and life in general friends only close friends only interesting Georgie Seattle Police Department birthday June 1st friends only close friends only not really there Gala, birthday 13th of September. Interesting. Oh, I can change the music. Oh, space. Ooh. Sounds good. I like this one. Oh, you could just. Interesting. This game is weird. In a good way. A free trial will start tomorrow. Thank you for subscribing to our fiction plan free trial. If you have active subscriptions to our fiction plan, you will start receiving your daily short stories tomorrow. Hope you're enjoying the contents we provide. What does that mean? Sounds a bit odd. Caffeine boost dominated by milk. Italian delight. Uh, those green tea latte, both sweet and savory with a hint of bitterness for the heart. Dark chocolate. Warm and calming darkness. Ooh. Okay, espresso. Are you gonna tell me how to make the espresso? Oh, what'd I do? I have no idea. Anyway. Oh, this is like the. Okay, never mind. Press Y, that's what I did. Okay. And option. I'm actually gonna make the dialogue a bit. Faster. Speed fast. There we go. Now let's get into it. I imagine there's gonna be coffee. I mean triple shot espresso, it just feels like all coffee. Dang. That was good. Espresso. Must be triple shot though. How do I? One cup of triple shot espresso, special for my only customers, honey. Mmm, that aroma. You good? Ah, exactly what I need. Oh, thank God. Anyway, where were we? Your plan to do something? Yes, that. It's not that I hate writing stories for the newspaper, you know, but it seems like the right time for something bigger. So, a novel? Yes. It sounded so simple when I was making the plan. At least you still have your job. These things go awry. Hee hee hee. Ha ha ha. Uh, did I say something wrong? No, you were right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know who owns the Evening Whispers? ERA Media, right? Yes. And they're also the biggest book publisher in the country. When an opportunity presented itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I went to one of the big guys in the elevator. So naturally, I pitched my book idea. And? Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, yeah, I know. It was such a stupid thing to do. How did they react? Thankfully, I've seen my short stories. So he challenged me. I 
can get a draft ready in a month, we'll pull some strings and get the fiction publishing division to sign me up for a publishing deal. Let's go. That sounds great. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? That's the hard part. I've been secretly working on the novel during office hours, and I'm falling behind on the newspaper's deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. Oof. Well, at least you've got a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. Oh. Again, don't look at me like that. How far along are you? Uh, two pages, you know. Assume the number of words you have written is not too far from zero. Hey, that's rude. I've written some stuff, you know. Can I see it? Uh, well... It was so bad that, well, after reading it, I decided to just delete everything immediately. That's horrible. You should never do that. All my writers out there, listen to me right now. You never delete your first draft. You write it, and if it's not good, you leave it alone for like a day or two, and then you go back and read what you wrote, and then rewrite it based off what you remember when you read it. That's how you get good. So, zero? Yes. Really need to finish it in, at most, two weeks. Then I'll use the extra week to polish and do some editing. Sounds like a plan. If you can pull it off. I know, I know. You don't need to be so cynical about it. That's why I'm here today. Hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? Glad this place could be of service. Oh, it looks, looks like someone's coming. Uh-oh. Another customer. Hello, ladies. Welcome. Question mark. Hi there. Hello. Good evening. For here, miss? Yes, please. Not really sure what to order, though. What do you recommend? That depends highly on your mood. I'm just here to meet my boyfriend. Not planning to be awake all night. So definitely no coffee. And a tea. How about something chocolate? Perfect for this weather. That's a good idea, actually. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything with chocolate in, please. So, a hot chocolate. I'm gonna make it double chocolate or more like a nice espresso. I like double chocolate. I'm gonna go double chocolate now. hot chocolate would slap right now latte art on a hot chocolate of course oh god wait wait oh I actually don't know how to do maybe I do doing something I'm doing I'm uh, doing something good enough don't look at the art one cup of chocolatey goodness thank you so warm so you're waiting for your boyfriend yes you should be here soon look at you now we went from empty to three customers in one night. Hooray! Thought this place would be more crowded, considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's still, that's, uh, that still opens past midnight, mostly empty. Now you mention it, is it good for business having the coffee shop only open at night? Definitely not. Yep, what she said. And why? I just love doing it. So I own the shop. There's always someone longing for a warm drink at this hour. That's fascinating. Pardon me for asking. How can you survive running the coffee shop like this? That's a secret. Cryoptic here is damn rich. That's the secret. I'm rich? Oh, really? I didn't even know. She's exaggerating. I'm just a multi-millionaire. Don't worry about it, Cryoptic. Don't worry about it. Cryoptic can manage. I'm sure this place isn't going bankrupt anytime soon. They'll still have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. That's good to hear. By the way, 
Are you a regular here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'm a writer who works best at night and in a coffee shop. Not so many options for that. Ah, no wonder. She's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of her stories in the evening whispers. Shut up! Wow, that's really interesting. What kind of things do you cover? I cover the stories of people around town. Personal, interesting, weird stories. I also contribute to their short stories. I love their fiction. You wrote those stories? Thank you. I wrote most of them, but not all. That's so cool. Then, are you here to write a new piece? It should be. But I don't even know what to write about. Uh-oh. That's the boyfriend? <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be like some big orky guy coming to sit down. Is that the boyfriend? Welcome. Oh my god, what, what's this guy going to sound like? Hi. <laughs> Sorry to keep you waiting. It's okay. I had a nice chat with fine folks here. Hi there. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Would you like to order something? Hmm. <laughs> Surprise me. <laughs> what kind of an order is that? Well, I don't really know what to order. Do you have any preferences, sir? Something better to keep me awake with milk. Oh, draw some latte art on the top. So a fucking latte? The only thing that should get latte art on the top? Although I did just do it on a on a on a thing. Latte is mostly milk. Is, that... is it bitter enough though? Yeah, it'll be bitter enough. I kinda don't want to give latte art to this guy. See, I don't know what invert means. I don't know how to do latte art. I'm gonna try my best, man. Here you go. <laughs> Steaming, steaming pile of shit. That's what that is. Oh God! Here's your order. Haha. <laughs> is this what you call latte art? What a dick! That's cute. Perfect. Anyway, I was distracted by some work. Plus, there's the rain. It's okay, Bailey's. Bailey's. I was having a nice chat with him. Oh yeah, I haven't properly introduced myself. I'm Bailey's. Oh my, where are my manners? I haven't introduced myself either. My name is Lua. Hi, I'm Freya. Nice to meet both of you, I'm Cryoptic. Hey, did you know that Freya here is a writer for the Evening Whispers? Oh really? I've done some work for them a few times. Oh, what kind of work? I'm a freelance designer and illustrator. I've done some caricatures and infographics for the paper. I assume you were in contact with Steve? Yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh, really? No, he isn't. But I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad he's in the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <laughs> Come on. He's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. Yeah. Uh, uh, bleh. Oh, of course. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? The only bad customers this late at night are the lost drunks or criminals. That sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. Just fucking deck them. Oh, damn, I do deck him. That's because you're good with your fists. Not as good as your coffee making skills, though. Fuck you. Take your triple shot fucking espresso and get out of my shop. Thank you. I'll take that as a compliment. You're welcome. Anyway, I really need to start writing. Whatever it is that I'm going to write. So, I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. 
Where are you going to write? Oh, not far. It's over at that table in the corner. Next to the windows. That's my spot. Oh, okay. Have fun. <laughs> I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Well, well, well. Just us. Should we move to the other seats, too? Nah, here is good. Okay, then. So, how was your day? All I are off the rip is horrible. And I'm not talking about my day. I'm talking about this guy's Riz. If they're on a date right now, this is her boyfriend. Bad. Absolutely horrid. It was fine. Work was nothing special. I can move the camera. Look at that. Why is this, like, telling me stuff? Lua? Oh, votre homme est un passier. I don't even know how to say I don't know what language that is. Bailey's free freelance what? Freelance designer and number one pumpkin spice fan. <laughs> <laughs> Biz dev lead at Discovery National Capital. Did I did I know that? I don't think she told me that. Yeah. Sorry, we needed a music change. It was fine. Work was nothing special. I finished my proposal early so I could get out of the office. Plus, my boss was in a really good mood all day. I thought your boss was always a happy-go-lucky person. Well, he is. But today, he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great seeing him smile so much. What about you? Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one is a pain in the ass. You know those memes? that depict terrible clients? Well, she fits all the bills. I could go on forever complaining about her, but that won't help me a bit. You should make a meme about her. And lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Cryoptic here about how to deal with annoying clients. Oh yeah, I don't like the way he's looking at me. How do you usually deal with annoying customers? The ones you don't need your fists to take care of. I do have my own methods. This Glock I keep under the counter. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. Now that's one good lesson to learn for the day. Oh, phone call. Your parents. Yes. Got she got parent problems? So you've talked to them? I did. It didn't end well? No. What did they say? A lot. I don't like that I'm like <laughs> third wheeling this right now. I'm contributing nothing to the conversation, just awkwardly listening. They don't give us a chance at all. Oh yeah. What? What is she? What is Lua? Anyone but an elf. It's not bad that he's an elf. That's what they said. How about you? More or less the same. Got into a fight with my old man. That's why I'm staying at Farron's place now. They kicked you out? You don't have to do this, you know. They're your family. I can't stand even one more second being a part of them. I might not have a stable income, but I can manage. But still, you don't know what they said about you last night. I'm sorry. What did they say about me? Or about my race, I assume? Forget it. I want to know. Just the same old shit. Mumbling about how elves are holy creatures. About our immortality. You're immortal? About how even if I outlive you. What? Nothing. About how if you outlive me, no other elves would want to be with an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. She's a succubus? That's exactly what they said. So this is it then. 
the end of our relationship. It doesn't have to be. You know our families will never agree. I just got an email that said help requested. I was like, who's dying? But no, it's a stupid... Never mind. Sorry. We can just continue like this. What do you mean? They don't need to know that we're still dating. We can just continue the way we've always been. Without them knowing. And then what? Do you want to be hiding our relationship for the rest of eternity? We're not like humans, you know? We can't just elope. And you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua. I don't care about their permission. This feels like a, an episode of Days of Our Lives. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. I can't let you do that. You'll lose your immortality. If I get to spend my life with you, I don't mind. I don't mind a bit. You're making this hard for both of us. Do you feel happy when you're with me? Of course I do. Then you don't need any more reasons. You know we're perfect for each other. Oh my god, just kiss already, bro. You don't even need to look deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. Alright, Riz is back up. He handled he handled that. I can't think about this clearly right now. We'll talk later. Lua! Wait! <laughs> I'm sorry you had to listen to our problems. That's okay. <laughs> I was just cleaning the grill or whatever I have back here. This coffee shop has seen all kinds of stories. I do hope yours will have a happy ending. <laughs> I hope so too. Do you have any alcohol? <laughs> Sadly, no. That's a bummer. Well, do you have anything that's warm and can calm me down? You like green tea lattes? Why am I talking like him now? Green tea lattes? I'll take one. Make it a double. Okay, I actually don't know what this classifies under. Green tea latte. What is this? I don't understand what this means. So this is coffee. This is tea. What is this? Because that's chocolate and that's milk. So I feel like I'm sort of missing it a thing here. Right? Oh, let's check Facebook. <laughs> Nothing. Any stories? No. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to make this. I think it's just tea and coffee. Oh, it says coffee, milk, milk. Espresso is coffee, 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 milk. Oh. Ooh, I made her drink wrong then. Because her drink is supposed to be chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. And I made chocolate, chocolate milk. <laughs> okay, so green tea, milk, milk. Dude, I'm just blind, I guess. Green tea. Wait, what was it? <laughs> oh my god. Don't mind me in the worst memory in all of existence. Milk, milk. Okay. Got it. Got it. Green tea, milk, milk. Then where, where, why is it a latte? I'm gonna make you better latte art this time. Do I know how to make it? Absolutely not. I can rotate the cup though. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Right in the middle here. A nice deep base, ready? And we're gonna rotate and slowly pull out. And we're gonna slowly go in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a swirl. You like that? Here's your green tea latte. This is good. Thank you for this. By the way, are you married? Listen, buddy, I don't swing that way. Not because you're an elf, but because... Oh, I don't know, because you got... I think you're a man. I'm not going to assume genders, but... 
Me? Nah. Do you have someone you love? I love this coffee shop. But I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. <laughs> I don't really have any expectations. Man, of all the people in the whole world, why did I fall for her? Can't choose who you fall in love with. Can if you try hard enough. At least, that's what my old man said. <laughs> that bastard. He really is one pretentious elf. But I guess all of them are. Entitled, pretentious, immortal douchebags. This can have an eternity to learn and change. Or an eternity to be an eternal asshole. Anyway, I need to go now. Probably drink myself under until the sun rises. There's still a while until sun rises. More time for me to drink then. See you around. See you around too, Miss Freya. Thank you. Do visit again. Preferably not drunk off your mind. Oh, God. <laughs> she looks traumatized. <laughs> you were listening from the corner? Yes. Poor souls. I hope they find a way to be together. Me too. Anyway, I need to leave. <laughs> She's just totally fine now. <laughs> I have to get up early. Earlier than usual tomorrow. Okay. I think I'm gonna close the shop up after this. That's pretty early. I know. After the rest of the deliveries come in tomorrow, I'll open as usual. Okay, you have a good night then. You too. And just like that, she's gone. Cough syrup, a cure for a sore throat. Am I serving people cough syrup? What? I am going to leave this here. I think this game is one of the funniest games I've ever played in my life. And it's such a funny experience. And uh, I don't know how many days it is, but I'll try to keep it like day per episode just to keep these episodes kind of shorter. And if you like it, make sure to comment down below. Tell me that you like it. Tell me what else you want to see me play. Uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when the next episode comes out. But uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And maybe we'll see how... Oh god, I forgot their names already. We'll see how Lua and... Uh, Evan? He looks like an Evan. Uh, let's see how the elf and the succubus get along in the next episode. Goodbye!